Hello and welcome to Channel Sport on Sunday. I am Ken Ochonogo. Uh, uh, there is hope. <laughs> yes, there is hope. Because uh, way back in 2008, 2000, yes, Benjamin 2008, uh, uh, that was the last time we got an individual medal, uh, which was a bronze by you know, uh, our star athlete. And uh, in 2012, we had nothing. We went to London. We came back with no gold, no silver, and no bronze medal. But then uh, uh, we, we now went to Brazil, and uh, Samson Siasa and his boys gave us that lone bronze medal also. So uh, uh, progressing you know, uh, to now, uh, it's been two bronze medals in the last three Olympic, gold, uh, uh, Olympic Games. So if all you had uh, were just two, two bronze medals, uh, it, it was looking bleak. Uh, you say, you know, how do we go to Tokyo and come back you know, empty-handed? But then the, the trial started. Um, and what, 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 what a pleasant surprise it was that you know, she gave us that bronze medal you know, 12 years, 12 years ago. Uh, that's 13 now. And then uh, uh, she went to Yaba, and I tell you, she burnt the tracks. Uh, I just want us to see how the queen of the tracks, Blessing Okabari, did it in 10.63 seconds. First, I switched coach. Um, I went to a new coach, and my uh, goal was keeping me fit and uh, fit and ready. But they had to actually try to get me healthy. The last five years, I've been struggling with injury, like crazy injury, injuries, health problems that I don't know where they're coming from. So they had to actually take care of that first. But above all, the team that I have this last year, this year, I mean last year I didn't run because they started preparing me from last year. Uh, they just they believe so much in my talent and. Even though when people are saying she's older, she's done, but they believe so much in me that this girl has not even achieved what she's capable of. Because sometimes they ask me, like, how do you do it? I just smile. <laughs> you know, so they had to actually um, believe in me so much and they had to like get me healthy. I'm not like 100% yet, but they have, they've been doing a great job. For me, I have to be patient with everything because sometimes I'm like, it's not working. But, you know, I had to be patient with them. I switch coach, uh, people that like, they don't care I'm feeling that moment. They want results and they're doing everything they can. And that has actually boosted my confidence. Health is, is, I'm healthier, I'm stronger, I'm fitter, and I take that into the race. So sometimes some of the race, they don't come, like the results don't come like I expect them. But it's something called trusting the process. So my coach is like, stop beating yourself up. It's going to come. So this is, it's going to come. This is one of them today, honestly. Because when I texted him after this, he said, it's like, it's like, shut up, stop winding. Go get on that race and blast it. I'm like, I just said, yes, sir. That's, that's all I said. So. I've been healthier, I uh, have a team that, you know, they, they trust that I can actually do it. And that has actually boosted my confidence. And above all, God has been great. I can honestly, I, I don't know, I don't know, but he's been great. He's been sustaining me. When I get out there, it's just me. Execute and, and stay focused. And I trust that I'm healthier, I can go, I can do certain things, and I just do what I have to do. And the results come, sometimes they don't come. And today is another, it's one of the days that I, I honestly want every day to be like this. And I'm really grateful to God. I want every day to be like this. We want every day to be Christmas. We want every day to be our birthdays. Uh, uh, he said, 
trust the process. I'm fitter. I'm healthier. I change my coaches and what I eat, my, you know, uh, my nutrition matters. And I'm picking, I'm not yet 100%. Please don't be 100% yet. Let it be 100% when you get to Tokyo. <laughs> we'll continue, but let us see what, you know, and then that, is, then that is Queen B herself. Uh, uh, but let's see what the male, uh, uh, you know, the, you know, the, the, the 100 meters male, let us see how that one turns out to. I ran 10.05 some month ago. Yeah. It was windy dead. Yeah. Today, I ran 10.06 in the heat and I was like, God, what's going on? To be sincere, I would say these guys pushed me. I've been it at the back of my mind. I'm running with fast guys and not just any other person. I knew I had to give my all. And to be sincere, I was very happy. And I had to control myself before the not to be overtensed. Well, going to the Olympics, let's trust God for the best. My target, I trust God Nigeria will qualify for the release and I trust God I would um, have medals in every event I will participate. <laughs> ah, uh, uh, you know, uh, the, the pocket dynamite. Uh, I don't know, I, I, probably I would have just checked how, how, you know, his height. But then his name is Adegoki. I know ID has to do with the crown. Red go key. You know, is he, is he climbing? Is he climbing? He, you know, is he, is he some wanting some hurdles? You know, are they go key? You know, the, the king is a king. I know, but, but probably that is what he did. Uh, uh, he, is, he, he is in the toy, he's in the toilet, he doesn't have the longest of strides, but then uh, uh, they come in like the bullet bend, boom, and it's over there. So, uh, uh, going into uh, uh, Preparing for Tokyo, uh, that is that is 32 days away from now. Uh, 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 32 days away from now, we are saying this is the final phase. This is where we say, okay, fine, uh, get stronger, get better, get faster. You know, you know, run faster, hit harder, and that is the thing. So uh, the trials, in spite of the politics that is going on, I tell you, this individual say, look, we triumph over these odds. We triumph over these adversities. They don't touch us. We are immune from it. And they go out there to give their best. Uh, Uluwatobi Amosan is there. A lot of them are doing wonderfully well and saying, we are going to jump. Ese Brume. Uh, you remember, you know, she just break that record, that uh, uh, 7.12 meters that uh, Chioma, the golden girl, Ajua, you know, ran, you know, jumped. That was in, uh, uh, in Atlanta, you know. So she, she just, she just, she just did that and knocked it down. But these are, these are, these are, these are the times. Okay, but they did that with the winner assisted at 10.63. Uh, Enoka Degoki, 10, 10, 10, flat, flat. That is 10 flat, 10 second flat in 100 meters. Toby Amoso, she did it in 12.3 seconds. That is the 100 meters hurdles. I bet, of course, her own is hand timed. Uh, Grace Wokoch, I mean, we will see what she's been doing. She has qualified already. And then 22.75 uh, uh, point, uh, uh, seconds in 200 meters. Chidi Okizi did his in 40, uh, 46 point two one seconds in 400 meters. And I tell you, uh, uh, Chebuka, Chebuka has already qualified to, you know, uh, in short put, she threw that, you know, 21.47 meters. And I tell you, these are Olympic bounds. Uh, these are times that was still fine. They can improve on this. They can compete. I think Chebuka is uh, rated at sixth or so uh, in the world. So it tells you that, you know, somewhere, somewhere there, we are moving towards the medal. Just one big, just, just one big throw. Just like we had just, just one leap. It was Choma's first jump in 19, 1996 against a star studded field. And she jumped that 7.12 meters and it gave us the gold. And it remains the only gold of, by an individual male or female this country has ever produced at the Olympics. And I tell you, are we seeing, are we seeing a repeat of 1996? We were both England, you know, uh, United Kingdom. At when the when the medals table were tallied in 1996, I know where they are today. Are we doing, are we ready for the catch up? Are we starting that process? Because they say trust in the process, 
Trust in how you are going. Get this time. God will prepare you so that you know you, you have your your immediate, your long-term, your short-term objectives. How? When are you going to get there? Prime. Pick at the right time. I think that is those are those are the words. So We'll see if we can uh, uh, soon join uh, uh, somebody who will take us through the, uh, you know, uh, what the, the, the trials, you know, sum it up for us. Uh, what are the, the, the blind spots? Uh, yeah, for now, when, 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 when we are ready, we'll go. We'll see how we can get them and bring them to you because. It is ending today. Uh, uh, the relays, we have, we've not qualified for the relays. Uh, it's, it's a bit tough for us. They, they need the best 16 in the world. And we are there 17, 18. You know? So how do we get there? We've got on faster times today. Uh, I think the Ivorians, the Ghanaians, the Senegalese or so, they are, they are in town. But let's see if some other uh, invi uh, uh, invited nations, because they are also looking for times to qualify. We come to Yaba and then uh, we slug it out. A 4x1, a 4x4, male and female, mixed relative and see how they all can get the best and push Nigeria because we want that anthem. We want that anthem to be sung right there in Tokyo. We want that flag, the green, white, green, the green eagles, uh, you know, to be... Uh, you know, to be flown right there, over there in Tokyo. And these are the men. These are our, our warriors. And these are Amazons that are going to do them for us. Uh, uh, last week before we left here, we were asking ourselves, will it be number one? Will it be number one for Sisypas? Or will it be number 19 for the Joker? The Joker did it. And I tell you, uh, uh, Djokovic now has 19 big ones, 19 grand slams. Roger Federer, 20. Nadal 20, and then Djokovic 19. And then the next one is SW19, which is in, which is, uh, in the United Kingdom, Wimbledon. And let's see, with Nadal pulling out, with uh, uh, Federer thinking, probably this is my last grab, let me give it. You remember, he was beaten by Felix Ogialassime right, in one of the tune-up uh, 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 tournaments to Wimbledon. So we are saying, how far can he go? Will it be 20, 20, 20? At the end of the day, we are looking forward to that. Can we bring calm down? We shall give them to you. We we'll bring you everything as they happen right here on Channel Sport on Sunday. Um, but away, 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 away from that, let's you know uh, tease you more with some, uh, uh, with some football, with some football stories. You know, like uh, we, we told you that two uh, continental uh, 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 tournaments are going up at the same time. You know, the the, the, the Euro, the Euros, and the Copa America. Uh, in, in in Euro, it is taking place in eleven cities, eleven countries. It's scattered all over Europe. But then the big guns are all there. They are slugging it out. And in in in, uh, in Copa America, which is the uh, the South American nations got their own version of our own Afghan. What is happening there is that, like, like we told you, it was supposed to be Colombia and Argentina. Colombia had a crisis. Argentina had their uh, COVID-19 you know, spike and then it was taken to Brazil. But as we speak now, even in Brazil, we've just been told that they have almost, uh, they've gotten about 500,000 deaths as a result of COVID-19. Not just cases, but these are dead. But it is taking place there, and we shall get to the results and uh, see how your favorite stars are doing, representing or flying the colors of their respective uh, uh, countries. Um, Right here in Nigeria, uh, uh, it is not too good news. The good news is that Oka, uh, and Aqua, 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 Aqua United, uh, they've gone 18 matches on beating. 18 unbeaten matches, and that is uh, sweet music to my ears uh, uh, because they, are, they want to set the record. It has never, no team in Nigeria, I think no team 18, in Nigeria has gone 18 or 19, so I, I'm not too sure of that, but this is uh, within the 18 or 19, they want to set the record of the, long, the longest unbeaten run in the Nigerian Premier League. So, uh, but then within the week we had that the coach of Rivers United, Stanley Guma, was kidnapped. Yes. But then there is good news. He's been released. He's been released. <laughs> He's been released. Uh, 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 if, if we, uh, uh, but matches were played, you know, uh, uh, yesterday, which that is where, uh, you know, uh, Aqua United, you know, uh, you know, got that win and went 18 matches unbeaten. But some matches will take place today in the MPFL uh, uh, in various cities. And then uh, uh, we shall see where your own teams are. 
so that you know uh, if they allow they allow fans to come in uh, you know taking the uh, the covid-19 protocols into consideration then you will go over there and be part of your team uh, there is also uh, some not too palatable news that has to do with the league um, we saw uh, in the nnl where Remo, Remo, uh, you know, uh, uh, Remo starts taking on Bendel Insurance, and then the players were uh, not just beaten blue and white, they were pursued. They were pursued out of the pitch. They jumped, they scaled fences. They scaled the fences, running for their, their lives. You know, some of, they ended up in the hospital. You, that, these, are, these, are, these pictures are not too palatable uh, uh, for people to look at. They are not, uh, it, it is not uh, uh, visual friendly, but this is how, these are, this is, this is, this is, these are the things that happened. We have fans encroach into on, 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 onto the field of play and then attack the players and the, without security the players ran for their dear lives and ran out of there um in the aftermath in the aftermath of this uh, uh they ended up in the hospital uh let us you say because uh, the decisions were taken but want to look at a prelude to how these things did happen because the governor went to visit this uh, some of the insurance players in the hospital let's 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 take a look at that You, 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 can, you, you, you can see the governor when he went to visit uh, uh, the players and officials of insurance after they were attacked in that match, you know, against uh, uh, Rem 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 Remo Stars. So, uh, uh, you, some of the players, uh, you can see that they are still even in, with, on, with, with their jerseys, you know, uh, you know, from which they represented the state. Look at, look, you can see, you can, you, you can, you can see them there. And uh, 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 we are just so, uh, so grateful that, uh, you know, lives were not lost. But to see that players, footballers at this age can still be beaten, you know, uh, officials without security, and this is what is happening, uh, beats our own imagination okay let us let us hear from the governor here pointed that you know more than a week after this incident the managers of the league the nff haven't come up to meet out the appropriate sanctions when you know with this sort of horrific, horrific behavior from the, uh, the the other side um and as far as i'm concerned i don't think that we can continue with the league. For now, we will suspend our participation in the league until the NFF takes appropriate sanctions against those who injured our players. And more importantly, they must also take an interest in the cost of treating our players. All right. Uh, I would, I've, we had that, 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 that's the governor says saying that you know uh, they've not heard uh, uh, from those who are organizing the any you know, the NNL the organizers of the league. Uh, and then uh, but, but before we take the deputy governors, the, gov the governor reacted. But before we take the deputy governor, uh, the organizers of the league came up with what they said at uh, the case involving Remo Stars versus Brendel Insurance. Uh, uh, after going through all that, they went through their decision i just want to read the decision taken you know uh, as what from from what from what came out there so i look at the, re the reaction from the deputy governor of edo state he said post wants to uh uh, uh, uh rule 16 2 uh, nnl rules all right uh, that you, you can see it there the remonstrance is hereby fined the sum of five hundred thousand naira only for breaches of covid 19 protocol and the discontinuation of the match due to encroachment by their supporters who were present at the stadium in breach of COVID-19 protocol. Taking cognizance of the conduct of Remo Stars officials and supporters being responsible for the encroachment and discontinuation of the match, pursuant to the past under Rule 16.3 and 15.10 NNA rules, and order that the match which was discontinued at 0, 0.0, 0 shall, uh, shall count as a complete fixture with, uh, with uh, a zero, 0 as the final result, as a final uh, score line. In view of the fact that Ben Insurance was unable to submit any medical bills for their injured players and officials and received, of course, uh, repairs to the damaged buses, the committee is constrained to award only the sum of 400,000 naira as general damages against remonstrance to be paid to Ben Insurance FC. 
that Ramon stars are hereby directed to make a written undertaking to NNL guaranteeing safety of players and officials of visiting teams during and after matches and any breach of such undertaking shall lead to banning Ramon stars from further hosting NNL matches in their, in their uh, uh, arena. So uh, um, that is the decision taken by, you know, that they are to write an undertaking after the, uh, that, you know, uh, and then, you know, 400,000 are paid because insurance didn't submit any medical bills. But then let's hear from the deputy governor and see the reaction coming from that camp. We are requesting that NFF and the League Management Committee must give verified commitment to the safety of vendor insurance players in the remaining matches. Failure to do that, vendor insurance is withdrawing from the Nigeria National League forthwith. As a state government, we have also agreed that the management of vendor insurance FC will be, we check the level of damage that that match has cost us and we are instituting a legal suit against Remo FC. Okay, uh, 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 you, 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 you heard from the deputy governor. Two things are key from what he said. One is that uh, they will withdraw in, they will withdraw in insurance, insurance will be participating in the league for that, and they are prepared, they are going to sue Remo Stars you know, for the damages uh, and you know, done uh, 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 an injury admitted out to their players. So, uh, I believe from what the, uh, uh, the NNL can still reach out from what we are seeing here, because they said um, the, the players have not, um, the club has not submitted the bills for their injured players and officials. So probably that's why they said, probably they will have said, uh, uh, pending when we receive this, you pay this. But after, you know, uh, we have seen that, then this is what is going to happen. And then uh, the insurance has said, look, you ban, you've banned teams, you've banished teams away for less than, this is attack, this is assault, this is injury. And you are saying they should write an undertaking. That this is like just a slap on the wrist. So basically that is where those are where the contentious issues are. So uh, we want to see how, because a lot of teams have threatened to pull out of the NNL. This is not the first one. And it is going on and on and on. Uh, um, the case of uh, Kano Pillars, we shall deal with later probably in the show. But then we are saying that, you know, justice has to be done. And not just but it's seen to be done. Uh, there, there, there should not be the, the same standard, the same issue, the same way you deal with one, it's the same way you are going to deal with others. Because that is where, that is why we prevent anarchy. Not taking the laws into our own hands. Because we believe in, just, in, the, uh, 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 in, in the fairness and, you know, uh, of justice being taken by those who are in charge of the league. Uh, uh, let, us, let us save our football. Uh, uh, there, there, there's this is this things are not what we should be discussing by now. We think about how to conquer the world. We should look at how to conquer Africa. We should look at how to do the best for Nigeria. We shouldn't be looking at those mundane and you know uh, the basic the the the, the 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 mundane issues that should have been thrown out and uh, where we are dwelling upon. And then you know we, we should this is not too much grammar to speak. Remus, this is nobody will see this and not condemn Remus, what Remus Stars did. So what is the severity of the action taken you know by the league and how can others other other things feel safe to say yes we will send justice. And then uh, other things have been banished. What did they do that merited those ones? There are the cases of F FC Fanyoba. There are the cases of uh, Canopilas. There are a lot of cases that have been, which we shall, if we have the time, we shall also look at today right on this show. So um, for now, that is where we leave that particular one. Uh, I want to see uh, maybe we, 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 if we can talk to... Um, uh, Darius, huh? briefly before we go on break, uh, uh, because you know we have to keep him there. Uh, uh, hello, 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 Darius, are you are you set to join us? Yes, I am. Okay. Uh, uh, we, 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 we've been looking at the trials, and then uh, a lot of good news have been coming out of there. Uh, what is your take so far? Well, it's been a wonderful competition. Very wonderful. Um, a lot of people have said they've never seen something like this in a long while. I think the last time we saw something as uh, big and as interesting as this was when it was being sponsored by that giant oil company. 
I don't want to mention that name for commercial reasons. <laughs> okay, go on. How does, I, I trust that. Uh, uh, you, you are smiling, Dari. Uh, Sometimes, this is the first time uh, in a very long time, I am seeing you smile when you are talking about athletics. What, what, are the, what are the things that is making you so happy? What are the things that you have seen that has given you hope? And probably we shall relate that hope to Nigerians who are watching this show. I think two things. One, the athletes, their performances this year have been incredible. Even here, they gave us a show, a real show. And for the first time in, um, in recent memory, we have crowd watching track and field in Nigeria. You, you could say because it is a venue, this is the Yaba, Yaba College of Technology because of the students. But I tell you, they've been giving some real, real spectacular event, uh, the system of spectacular events, like the 100 meters women, for example, when Blessing ran 1063, that was awesome. Then the drama with the Toby, Toby issue, that's the 100 meters or those. That yeah. was some race. That, that could have been close to an African record. Maybe not an African record, but it could have been close to an African record. Then you saw Timothy Amogene running 49.6 in the 400 meters or those. I can't remember the last time they ran 49 here. So that is, that is, is yes. Wait, that wait. Is, okay. We, we, at least I'm we are going to organize it. <laughs> no, no, don't, don't, don't hold. Just hold it there. Hold it, Dari. Dari, you are itching to go. We are eager to hear from you. We're going to go on a very short break. We're going to go on a very short break. And when we come back, we shall take it from there. Just stay with us, Dari. Stay with us. In Yama. Stay with us. Uh, uh, that is the original slide from uh, uh, the, uh, uh, the Yaba, the Athletic Trials. But we want to go on a very short break. When we come back, we shall join him and see uh, uh, what is really happening and how because the show comes to an end today. Okay, you welcome back. Uh, I to the channel spot on Sunday. We are still celebrating and saying that there is, there is, it looks like there is light at, there is going to be some light, some shining light, some, you know, at the end of the tunnel, not uh, uh, a dim light, but, you know, shining the way uh, uh, the Dari has been painting us. Um, We'll, we'll, we'll see if uh, Dari is still there so that we can go back straight to meet him right there at Yaba as he's giving us, uh, you know, exactly the things that happen. Hello, Dari. I hope you are still there. Yes, I'm still here. Yes, I can see that. I love it when you release my truth. Truly, Dari. Uh, um... Uh, uh, okay, you, 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 you were giving us, you know, uh, the performances of these athletes, you know, how, you know, the times and then the, uh, uh, the distances that, you know, they've thrown before we went on break. Uh, let us start with the Okabari's 10.63 seconds. Um, they said the, 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 it, it, the wind uh, is about 2.17. Uh, what is the allowable, what is the uh, allowable uh, uh, wind uh, uh, for, for records to stand or for, for, for races, what, whatever time? You take it to be uh, to, to be legal. What is the legal wind that is allow that is allowable? It's two point zero zero. Two point zero zero. Okay. Yeah. So anything so it, that exists that yeah. is illegal. Okay. It's illegal. So that means this race. Yes. Uh, uh, this race for now, if we take it as all time, but it is not going to count. It is not going to count. It's not. But the fact count. that we ran as fast as ten six three yeah. shows that she's ready. She's ready for Tokyo. Because that could easily be like a 10, 7, 10, 8 round. Yeah. And just last night, um, sorry, Shakari Richardson ran 12, 8, 8, if I'm not mistaken, okay. to win the American trials. So it's, 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 it could have been something like what Blessing has done here to yeah. win the American trials. So that I means Blessing is right there in the mix with them. And why people didn't actually doubt that very much is because they know that Blessing is capable. Somebody who has done 10, 7 before. So she, could, she can easily do 10-6. And blessing seems to be in the form of her life. She seems to be in the form of her life. And that is why I'm excited. Because most of them came here, they brought that form here, and they showed us that they are ready. For example, look at the, look at the Hamat, Hamatro girl, uh, Echiwonke. Yes. I'm sorry if I, if I didn't pronounce it well. <laughs> go on, go on. <laughs> Fantastic. That is the first time in history they are, we are having a Nigerian first of all qualify for the Olympics in the hammer. And then the first time in history, we are having somebody throw as far as 70 meters. She actually has 74 meters. So that is awesome. And she came here, she did a 72, and she's been consistent with 70, with throws over 70 meters. And she's among the top 10 in the world. So there's cause for optimism, both from the girl, from Blessing, from Toby, 
And of course, from Isabrome that we are going to see today. Remember, Isabrome uh, broke the African record um, late last it, month yes. in the US. The US for the for the long jump. <laughs> I think I think the whole athletics community is excited, and I'm sure you are one of them. <laughs> I'm, I'm in the sports family. Don't, don't, don't try to co-opt me. Don't try to do that. I, I won't accept that. <laughs> um, the, uh, you, 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 you are a member of the athletic family. <laughs> okay, for, okay. For today, I am. Just like all Nigerians are members of our family for now. You understand? That, that, is how, that is how it should be. So I agree with you. I am. For, I, for today, I am. I am. I am. But that, yeah, you, you, you didn't mention uh, 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 Chukwebuka. Uh, 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 our short putter. No, uh, see, it just uh, I, I didn't capture all of them. Okay. But thank God for reminding. Thank me for reminding him. He has also qualified for the Olympics. He's, he's been a consistent twenty-one meters uh, thrower. Although at the Olympics, I think he needs to throw a twenty-two. Twenty-two. Okay. To stand a chance of winning, winning the medal. Just the other day, he ran across at three, uh, over twenty-three meters to set a wow. new world record. So you, there, 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 there will be some problem there. But we I can authoritatively tell you there's a 50-50 chance. It's in the women's armor throw. It's in the 100 meters hurdles. It's in the 100 meters flat. It's in the long jump. That's for women. Then for men, unfortunately, it's the women that are all the helping us anyway. But for men, I think we have Divine Ududuru. I, I can count on only Divine Ududuru. But the, for the women, we have at least four. Ignore the relays. If you look at the women's four by hundred meters, this is the best team we've ever had. Better than the team that won bronze in Barcelona in 1992. Better than the team that was upgraded to silver in Beijing in 2008. This is the best team that we've ever had. And we believe, we believe that they will do well at the Olympics. They already took provisionally, and I'm sure the time they ran in Doha that, uh, that has qualified them but to be on the that, that was about two, year, two years ago. Yeah, yes, because the, the qualification period starts from 2019. Okay. Remember, these games were supposed to be held last year. Oh, exactly, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> so they left that. They cancelled some. I think during the period of the of the of the COVID nineteen, they cancelled any 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 event that happened during that period didn't count. So they started from 2019. That's why most of the people that are qualified now, especially in the release, some of them came with results from 2019. So so far. What we have for the 4x1 women is from 2019. What we have for the 4x4 four four men, I mean women, is also from 2019. Even the 4x1 men, everything is from Doha. No, no, the other one is not from, I think it's from, it's from Rabat at the African Games. Okay. But, uh, 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 let, let me, let, just, just aside, how come it is our ladies that are there? What is happening to, the, to, your, to you and your guys? What is happening? I mean, long jump, look at the ladies. This will look at the ladies. How, what is happening to you and the boys? What is happening, Daddy? Hello? <laughs> Daddy, don't hang up on me. Okay, I think he's back. <laughs> Okay, that is frozen. We'll see, we'll see get back to Daddy. Daddy is still there. We'll, we'll join him immediately. I'm on. Okay, all right. Okay. I'm on. All right, all right, all right. Tell that's him, answer. That, that, that's, a, that, that's a very tough question to answer because I don't know. I don't know. And this didn't happen just today. It's been there. It's Remember been there. 1996? Remember the Olympics? Yeah. By women. By women. <laughs> I mean, the gold day in, 19, in 2000 that we won the gold in the 4x4? Four yeah, and that, in that is, is four, four by four, yeah. it's always the women. The women, I don't know. I don't have an answer. So should should we budget more for the, for the for the for the women than the men? I mean, if, if it is possible, you just so we can so that is that is compare doing our comparative advantage. You said this are this is where we expect the uh, uh, the medals to come from. It's right. <laughs> they already have more. You know, in Nigeria, this part of the world, it is yeah. the men's world. Exactly. Men have everything. Maybe they are distracted, you know, as the breadwinner of a family. <laughs> go out. You know, I think it's when we start treating athletics as a business. Yeah. And I think going forward, that's what we should be thinking about. We have to kill into the objective of the Honorable Minister. Dari, 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 uh, 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 real, real, realistically, uh, 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 I, know, I know you are there, you are hearing me. Realistically, how, what that's is... That's where we're going. Okay. Uh, uh, no, I, 
I said, realistically, what are our chances of making it, uh, qualifying for the release? What are, what, what are the chances that we have? I will tell you before I am talking now, it was bright. But with this rain, it may, it may spoil some things. But I just hope that it won't. Okay. Is, is it still raining? At, is it still raining heavily there at Yaba? Is it still raining? From the report I got from, uh, from Blessing, it's already at the stadium, you know, yeah. bring one out. Yes. And she sprayed, this way should stop. Because I think the four by one women are determined. They feel they can set an African record there. So that's what. Okay, I hope, okay. At least I hope, I, hope, that <laughs> I hope the rain, the rain is not freezing. It's not freezing. This uh, interview with Dari, but I think we are, we are getting the we are getting the meat of the gist uh, uh, out of there. Uh, let's pray it doesn't rain. Uh, where are where are our rainmakers? We can go over there and make sure that there is sunshine. Go on, go on, draw that in and make sure that you know that the rains don't fall anymore, so that we can qualify. Uh, and nobody wants to sprinkle. Nobody wants to break their ankles running you know, on on slip on slippery grounds. So we have to see how it you know they, they can dry the tracks. You know, heat it up uh, so that you know the spikes can just you know uh, go through there and run as fast as possible. We need those things to the release have been found. Uh, I, I tell you that is the other area. That is the other places. The other uh, where we got the other gold was in two, like what Dari said was in Sydney uh, 2000 when they were upgraded. Uh, you know, to gold after the Americans. You know. Okay, Dari, 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 Dari is back. Uh, uh, Dari, Dari, so. Uh, you, are, you are saying that, you know, the, 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 the condition there uh, is not looking too good. Yes, it's not. And I remember sometimes when you told me about the rain uh, maker <laughs> that was someone that was stopping in, in a young body. So maybe you should give me the phone number so that I can call the guy. <laughs> <laughs> you are training back to me. I, love, I like this. Uh, uh, but then, uh, uh, but, uh, but there are brother, how do you dry the tracks? You know, the more, uh, when when it rains, uh, just you know, uh, if the rain can stop, how, how how much time do you have? You know, to get the tracks back to normal before they at least can you know can, can take to it. No, no, no. It's, it's not about the tracks. It's about okay. the athletes and the, and the condition. Okay. The tracks is okay. It absorbs water, but okay. the condition. Okay. It's not as if they cannot compete in the rain, but it's going to affect the performance. The performance. And the, the, the difference of the past time. Like I told you, the women have uh, 4305, and they are presently yes. 16. Okay, that 16. Okay, 16. That is, that is the, the, the 16 they need, right? They need 16 teams. You see, they, need, so they are presently 16. Okay. Brazil is on top of them with 4304. Okay. Then Australia on June 12th ran 4311. So they are literally breathing down our neck. And we need to run faster than that to be sure. We are already there, but we have to be sure. And that's why we need, for example, to break 43 seconds. Okay. Let them run maybe 49 or 42, 8. I think they are true. As we are talking now, they are true. And I, I, have, I have the belief that they will be true. But you have to be sure because the deadline is June 29. So run a fast time so that you can be sure. Then for the women 4x4, four four, they have a 330, 32, if I'm not mistaken. And they have a Dominican Republic in, seven, in 16th position. Yeah. So if you run anything, if you run anything, Inside 330, that's 329. We will be there. But it's better we run 328 so that whoever is coming back, coming behind us, may not be able to catch us. To catch us. That is for the women. It is for the men that I have issues. Because one, the four by one men is depleted. Apart from the race now, the four by one men is depleted. Oduduru couldn't come here for the, very genuine you... reason. Yes, for a very genuine reason. Then remember the Kewo is just coming back from injury. And the good thing is that he has competed, and I think he ran the 10 6, 10 2 6, rather, I said 10 6. He ran the 10 2 6 in the first race. So we are hoping in the next one month, if he could be able to run a 10 1, there will be a good part of the relay team because we need him. But the problem I'm having now is for them to qualify. For the Olympics, we have a solid 4 by 1 team that can get to the podium. But the problem is they are not complete now, and they need to run minimum 38 4 5. Because Trinidad and Tobago, that is on the 16th position, has 38 4 seats. But to be sure, we need to run a 38 1. Because Turkey, that was 17th, 16th before, on and June 12th, Turkey ran 38 20. So they moved up. They've now moved to 16th. 
coming to 15th. So, to 15th, so yeah. if we can only get one here, then we are safe. But the problem is, can we run it? I don't know. Then the 4x4, four four, that is where I have real issues. They need to run it at uh, 302. The best we've done in recent years. 2012 till now is how many years? That's like nine years. Yeah. The best they've done in nine years is 303. So if they want to qualify, they just need to repeat the performance that fetched us the gold at the African Championship in 2012, where they ran 302 39. So they need to do that. If they can do that, they are true. But can they? That's a very big question. Then you go to the mixed drilling. This is an uncharted territory for us, for virtually everybody. But you need your best two from the women's 400 and the women and the men's 400. I think we have it. But for us to also be sure, you remember when they were on the top of the US, they ran 318. But to be sure of qualifying, because a lot of countries in the last two weeks have moved up, especially in the mixed relay. So yeah. for us to be very, we need to run a sub 314. Is it doable? I think so. Because if you look at the two guys that we are going to pull from the 400 men and the two guys in the 400 women, I think we have quality there. Um, Chidio Keze, I don't know if you remember him. Yes. He ran for the 6 0 He ran for exactly. the 6 0 to win the Edo, Edo National Force Festival title. Yeah, I bet. Then, yeah. He, ran, he, he, ran, he ran 46 to 1. He ran 46 to 1, yeah. At the no, no, I'm just talking before now. Before now. Before okay. now. Okay, okay. He ran 45 6 0. Yeah, in a do, in a do. Yeah, okay. In a do. And, yeah. that, and that's, that's the personal best. And that's our best 400 meters runner now. So it, ah. it will be in that team. Okay. Then the second spot will now be among the three of Ojeli, Nathaniel, and Sikiru Adeyemi. Normally, you will have said Nathaniel because up to now, he's been fantastic. But as this trial, he can third. Because Ch Chidi came from the back to win. That's why he ran 46. Because it's a normal 45 meters runner. Then for the women, we have the we have favor of Philly. Although he, she has not done much of 400 meters in the US, you know, she's a student in the US. Yes, she but, just went there. But she's a consistent 51 meters runner. That means she, she should be able to give us a 50. And we have others that have done 51. Patient Joko George, I think, will likely be the second leg that will come in. So we have, in a way, we have a solid leg that should be able to run 315, 314. If you still run 314, we'll be there. But to be sure, that's why I said to be sure, so that we are not looking at our back. We need to run some three for two. Hey, okay, Darius. So you know what we are saying? Probably uh, uh, in about the six, uh, uh, we are supposed to say six relay teams, right? Six, three, three. Five. Uh, is it five? Okay, mix. Okay, mix is one. Why we have two? Uh, just yes. the four hundred. All right. So about five relay teams. We are sure of about one or two now being there, right? No, two, two will definitely rain or no rain. Two will qualify today. Two, two qualify. The, the other three are on, on the borderline. The woman four by one is already there. Yeah. They only need to confirm. You know, What's when you get something and you say you have to confirm your ticket. You yeah. know, if you don't confirm your ticket, they take it away from you. So they want to confirm their ticket before. <laughs> All right. <laughs> they want to confirm their ticket before. Why the four by one women, they want to book and confirm at the same time. Okay. So that's what they are going to do today. Is the is the men that I have issues with the four by one will have easily easily qualified today if the divine has been around. The, the divine team is not. Uh, but let's see what they can do because if if Adeko could run ten zero zero seconds, that is fantastic. And we have Shakiri as a ten zero two personal best and as not ten zero ten zero this year too. So we only need two other ones. Unfortunately, Alaba Kitala that won silver the Edo Festival is injured. Because with Alaba, we'll have been confident that maybe they can run a 32, 38, 3. But let's see. Let's see what happens. Let's see what All happens. Right. Because okay. they are, are surprising at times. No problem, Dari. Uh, it's, it's been a pleasure speaking with you. Let's hope that uh, by the time we, uh, next Sunday, we'll come back next Sunday, we'll see probably we have five teams uh, going to the release. Thank you very much, Dari. It's been a pleasure. Uh, you're always welcome. But don't forget <laughs> the Rainmaker, please. <laughs> I will. <laughs> Nigerians will. And not just Ken or Chonogo, Nigerians will to make sure that, yes, I am at the. Ken, you told me. I want this from you. <laughs>
There will be no rain. There will be no rain at Yama. There will be no rain at Yama. I, I promise you that. I will we'll try and see what we can do. Yeah, it's rain already. Let us stop it. <laughs> Thank you, Dari. Thank you very much. Uh, it's, it's always fun. Uh, a pleasure. Uh, uh, he's on top of the game. He understands what he's telling you. Uh, he's there. He breeds athletics. And uh, uh, it's always a pleasure speaking with Dari. So, uh, so let's see uh, which of our teams will be there. Uh, as she says, four by one for the women is assured. Uh, you know, for the four by four, she's, you know, probably that the double, you know, uh, 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 borderline, uh, that we are more assured with the ladies. But the male team, the four by one, the four by four, and then when we have the mixed relay, which is uh, uh, the male and the female, then probably, let's see, if, if we, uh, uh, we, we get, we pick our best and put them there, uh, we can get it done. I've asked them how many countries have arrived now, but then I, I've taken a lot of time talking at, at these particular trials. So that is how it is. Uh, let's see if we can come back to football and see, uh, I, I, was, I was talking about Aqua United, that, uh, that uh, you know, uh, 18 matches, they've gone 18 matches on beating. Okay, uh, the line's already open, and Owo is there. Uh, hello, Owo how are you? Yeah, thank you, thank you. They say you should stop rain. There's no defense that you can stop the rain. Do that one first. That's number one. Number two, I really appreciate the program today for because I followed I always followed the guy in the athletes. I mean he yeah, about too. Yeah, okay. And uh, yeah, I mean he yeah, about Good, wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the issue of uh, Today, Equal United is playing Lubi. Let me just yes. inform you. Yes. And uh, by the grace of God, I've already called the Equal State, uh, uh, the, my guys here, yeah, especially by Isa. And I told him we must win this match today. Okay. And uh, second is that uh, about the game of. Uh... Hello. Hello? Are you yeah. still there? Yeah, I'm still there. Uh -huh. What I'm trying to say is that uh, about the, uh, what do you call it, uh, the Remo Star. Yes. The, yeah. The, 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 the issue of uh, Remo Star is that uh, this NNL should do something. Because I have a friend there at life at that day. He told me a story, and I'm so sober, that in Nigeria, League can be like this. That is it. For the uh, canopilla, yes, the canopilla. I don't believe there are problems because they play the match in uh, Kaduna. It is that is their home ground. No, no, that no. That no. is their home ground what? now. They are, they are not playing no. at Kano. They've been playing at Kaduna as their home ground. Yeah, I understand. Is it the Kaduna supporter or is it the Kano? Is the Kano Villa supporters in Kaduna? No, don't say that. Don't try to say that. What I'm trying to let you know is that I was so happy of what they are done. You see, these guys there, they are the Kaduna. And I mean, the of that Kaduna should be handled that much properly. Okay. They shouldn't right. allow anybody to enter that stadium. That is the FA. What is the meaning of FA there? All right, uh, we, want to, we, want to go on, we want to go on a short break. Thank you very much. Uh, uh, you always are uh, a regular caller and will appreciate your contribution to the show. Thank you, Owo. Thank you very much. Okay, we are going to have a break. When we come back, just stay there. Channel Spot on Sunday continues. All right, you're welcome back. We are still on. Uh, the lines are also open. You can join the discussions and see. But then let us see uh, uh, to these fixtures of the MPFL uh, yesterday, yesterday, like we said, uh, Aqua United are riding high. Uh, they, they beat Ademwa United by two goals to nothing. And uh, uh, that keeps, that makes uh, um, on Friday that 18, 18 matches on beating run. Uh, uh, they, have, they, have, they have a great coach, Benedi, and then he's doing what he has done somewhere. So it is not for us to now start just looking at it. So that, those are, that, that, let us look at the fixtures. Dakaba uh, uh, FC, Dakara will take on Enugu Rangers. Uh, Enyimba will take on Nasarawa United. FC Fanyo Bar takes on a heartland of Uwere. Uh, Jigawa Golden Stars are home to Kano Pillars. And Lobby Stars, like uh, you just had Owo call in, taking out Owo. Owo La First Quara United, which are, we are also doing very well in the league. Uh, uh, we also have um, 
MFM uh, at the prayer warriors taking on uh, at the tourists from Wiki. Uh, Platy United, who's uh, the wolves of worry, uh, Rivers United, uh, who's uh, thank God the coach, their coach was kidnapped and Tafana he was released. Uh, uh, Stanley Aguma, they take on Casina United and Sunshine Stars are also home to Abia Warriors. Uh, let us see how they stand. Let us see how they stand now. Uh, uh, what has taken the teams where they are in their performances. Uh, some teams are doing well. Some are in the red zone. Uh, the, the blue zone, like we said, is, that is Aqua United. And they're up there, I tell you, uh, uh, with uh, uh, 53 points while, while, while ahead of uh, Kano Pillars. And that is after playing, you know, March, March the 20th. Uh, they're, 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 this team is uh, 28. This team is doing so well, and let's probably the league title is looking towards that side. But Canopilas are very good travelers. Uh, probably they might get something out of their matches today. Out of their match today, sorry. Uh, so uh, uh, at the bottom line, um, we have uh, uh, Worry Wolves. Uh, you know they are away. Uh, as if I were playing home, probably uh, that might give opportunity for them to climb out of that red uh, zone. Uh, Sunshine Stars. And then Adamawa United, like we said, they lost. It's like the table toppers just beat the bottom team uh, uh, in yesterday's uh, fixture. So that, that is the league for you as they stand. Uh, uh, where is Squara? Uh, yeah, Squara is uh, fought. I hope uh, oh, yeah, you are watching. They are fought on the table uh, just behind uh, Anasarawa United and ahead of Rivers uh, United. And uh, Quara, they also played 26 matches, which means they have uh, about uh, two matches you know, to catch up with uh, Aqua and then want to catch up with some other teams that have played uh, a 27 uh, match. I think that standard match is against, uh, let me see, any team there with 26. Okay, okay, you pass 25. So probably there are some teams also that also have uh, outstanding uh, matches. So that is the league for you. Uh, uh, let us uh, uh, take a detour away from football. Okay, before we leave, let me just stay in Africa because the semi-finals of the CAF Champions League took place yesterday. And I tell you, it was uh, a very pleasant surprise because the two teams won away. And that is experience of Tunisia losing to uh, uh, Alagli, the, uh, the African team of the century uh, in the first leg. And then also, why did Casablanca Kesa achieve travel from, you know, you remember a song called Okosu's music from Cape Town to Cairo. They left from came from uh, from uh, 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 for right there in South Africa, and they traveled to to Morocco, and then got that uh, a very very beautiful. Uh, 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 result. So uh, the return legs will be, uh, you know, uh, six days from now. That is a week from yesterday. Uh, so that on the 26th, that is when you know the return legs. So we shall know the two teams that will play in the finals. So if they play well away and consolidate at home, we might likely see uh, 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 the South African coach taking the South African team, uh, <laughs> you know, uh, in the finals of the uh, of the CAF uh, uh, Champions League. And you remember, they are the defending champions. He came in uh, a few minutes the match and he won it he won it with mama lady sanders and then probably he wants to do back to back with al akli all right uh, uh let's go straight to abia uh because we have paul on the line hello paul hello paul hello how are you now very fine very fine fine uh i i heard that uh, the sf club is going to start producing the run of party team you start isn't it yes yes but how can they finish that uh, FA Cup now? Since the time they have is, is very little. Uh, some some states decided not to play. Uh, some started playing earlier. So those states that are not playing, they just nominate. So okay, let this club go and represent us. I mean, is, is it okay. it's in, it's I Nigeria innovation? They, 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 they have done it very wrong this time. I think you know. I, 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 don't, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> okay, and, and I heard that the CAF said that the, every country should bring their own representatives before the end of this month. I, I, I think so, I probably. So. Is it 29th or so? I'm not too sure. I know. Uh, yeah. Uh, so, how, how are they going to do it now? Please, the FA Cup and the Champions League match. How are they going to do it? They will play it. They, might, uh, they, they just play it. Put, them, put them into groups. They might, they might play two, two matches or three matches in a day and, and knock it out. Yeah, okay. There's already a okay. timetable. I think they're playing in Benin or so. I, I, I will get through and get, you know, uh, will probably by next show, if it is not late, if they've not started playing by then. Uh, but I think, okay, I think, have, uh, okay, yes. okay, 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 they will, they will keep playing them and they, they will just put, put them in a group and then everybody will just go there and knock themselves out. Okay, okay, uh, thank straight, you. straight knockout. <laughs> okay, All right, thank you. 
So uh, that, 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 that is it. So we, we, we've seen the CAF uh, uh, Champions League uh, semi-finalists, and then they are going to the final. Today, the, uh, the Confusion, uh, CAF Confusion Cup, they will play their semi-final matches also, and we shall get you uh, uh, those results also. Uh, uh, in, 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 in Euro, uh, we, have, we have some, some great results. Some great results there in Euro 2020. Um, uh, Germany came back from that first loss at home to France, and then uh, uh, they, they, they knocked, okay, well, that is hungry first and foremost playing at home. Uh, France, <laughs> France survived, though, because <laughs> after missing so many chances, Hungary went ahead. Uh, uh, then uh, it, it, they, were, they were lucky to get that. They came back uh, and got that equalizer, and uh, uh, that is how they are now. They are on four points because they won. They beat Germany in the first match. I mean, that group is tough. Uh, 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 Portugal a bit hungry, 3-0. Uh, they were the first you know, to score against Germany. And then the Germans came back, and I tell you, it is 1-2-3-4 before uh, uh, that second goal was scored. And uh, I think that also took uh, Cristiano Ronaldo's goals to 107 international goals. Uh, uh, you can't take that away from him. He's knocking it out there. He wants to be the best. And, you know, even at his age, he's still doing it uh, how, how uh, the great ones does, things like that. Uh, Spain have not been too inspiring to, to matches. Uh, they, 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 drew, they drew with Sweden and also drew with Poland. And I tell you, this match, I think they played this match at Seville quite in their home ground and they've not quite found their rhythm. I don't know what it is with Spain, but then that match was a difficult match for them. That result was a fair uh, representation of what happened. Uh, uh, today, you are going to see Italy uh, taking on Wales. Uh, Italy already qualified. The six points there. Switzerland were taking on Turkey. Uh, Wales beat, did beat Turkey uh, and drew with... Um, so I think that, that yes, uh, I got that particular draw. So with Switzerland, they are down four points already. Uh, uh, Switzerland taking on Turkey. Uh, Finland taking on Belgium. Remember what happened uh, to Denmark, which were taking on Russia. And then uh, that was how it was that, um, you know, uh, uh, they did not, they, they, they lost that match when they came back. Uh, so the other matches are, are not Macedonia taking on Netherlands and Ukraine uh, uh, taking on uh, Austria. So that is the thing. Uh, that is for you. That is for Euro 2020. Okay, let's uh, but let's let's go to Calabar because we have Collins right there calling us from uh, Calabar. Calabar was once the capital of Nigeria. Yeah. Hello, <laughs> Collins. How are you? Hello, Channel Sports on Sunday. Collins, how are you? I'm good. Are you? We are fine. Very very fine. Yes. yes. I, I like the training in Lagos, and it's my like real um, Nigerian chances of qualifying for the relay. Yeah, we. Yeah, I the rain. I think it was raining cats. Dogs, hippos. Uh, I don't know. I didn't check the other animals. It, it was actually. <laughs> 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 don't mind, diary. I will sue him. I will sue him. <laughs> yeah. Hey, my contribution is this. I am yeah. with regards to what happened in Nigeria uh, National League MML. Yes. Um, the decision by the um, Nigerian Football Federation, I don't think I am so happy with it. Where would they stand with the results? They should have perform as different to other things. Like I talk already in Calabar. My name is Uncle Popo. I do sports on Calabar. Yeah. And I show on, on, on during the week. I said if um, apart from finding the stars, they should be banished from Kenya and also award the three points and three goals to insurance. You know one thing about this thing, anything you're doing is you serve as president. So exactly. Also, exactly. President of yeah. Nigerian football. Even in Calabar here. Something similar happened, but let's not go into it. Okay. When uh, one of the clubs in Rio tried to bring in cameras, and see, this is the twentieth century. I don't know. I, I think that Nigeria is going backwards. Or, I don't understand. That decision for me is not complete enough. Rebel stars should be banished from Kenya. Apart from being banished, they should be deducted three points and three goals to serve as deterrent. What I'm saying by you, I'm using this because of a future purpose. So that something may also happen. So that's just my contribution. I Thank wish you. I wish um Black or Calvary and every other member of the Nigerian meeting the best as they try to make sure they qualify um for the Olympics. Thank for the Olympics. You. Thank you. Thank you, Collins. They will they will qualify. We hope so. Uh, uh, so let's just uh celebrate um Djokovic as he won his 19th and he won it right there uh, on, on, on the top on the top of Nadal, the king uh, the king of clay, to beat the king of clay uh, twice in the French Open, it's not easy and that's a trophy, and uh, yes that's a trophy uh, 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 the Roland Garros, 19th 19th Grand Slam, 
He's second on this stuff. Uh, he is the only man in the open era to have won each of the slam at least twice. Not Federer, not Nadal, not Pete Sampras, not Andrea Gassi, not any of the big ones. He is the first man to do that, and I tell you, in the open era, and that we're talking about almost 57 years, I you know, I can't counting. So you, it, it can't for something. But he will be going for number 20 because Federer looks not too fit. Though you can't always count him out at, on, 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 on grass court. And Nadal has said, I am not going to win building. So let's see if the young talks, you know, uh, uh, can pick up the gauntlet and said, yes, we can do this. We can take that. All right, let's take uh, uh, Mike uh, because he's here in Lagos. Hello, Mike. Uh, Mr. Ken, good morning. Morning. It, uh, it's afternoon, Mike. Check your check. I, I want to ask you, what kind of football are we running in Nigeria? It's Nigeria what football. Kind of are we <laughs> eh? How can MFM and uh, if I what, why should they set to such a place like that? Okay, the, the I've MFM. Had, if, if, yes, yes, yes. Go on. I've had what they said they should take it in also. Who will take care of their next trip? The match to get played another day. Nobody knows the date yet. Why can't we have calendar? No football, what is the work of the Secretariat in the NFS? <laughs> what is the work? That Nigeria professional league, that professional is insulting. <laughs> that one professional is insulting. You should call it non-performing league in Nigeria. Oh, well, I don't know what you are playing. Eh? Look at uh, Ashland said they have not been paid. They, they, they will not honor if I you buy mad. You so uh, if I you buy said they don't give the letter. The other thing in Nigeria is now is typographic error. Typographic error. Typographical, typographical error. What is typographical? Somebody should resign for it. You wrote a letter to him, he said that he made a mistake. You said a mistake, you will not punish you. When you make yeah. a mistake, you should be punished. You yes, said, exactly. Mm -hmm. uh, be because, okay. Uh, uh, Mike, okay, thank you, Mike. Uh, what Mike is yeah. saying here is that the match between uh, MFF. If if I knew about an MFF was supposed to, M, uh, uh, MFF was supposed to take place, and then the, if I knew about didn't honor the match because from what the the letter they received, they were supposed to play you know at home. Now they said after they are finding they are found that actually that if I knew about we were right there was a typographical error, but then if I knew about should pay uh, a two million naira to MFM. They should also pay all the match uh, in, 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 in indemnities, and then the match has to be replayed. So, if you find your we are not at fault, if it was the typo came from you that typed it to them, why ask him then to pay the two million naira to MFM? So, there's so some of these things. I don't know how they arrive at these decisions that you are taking. Unless, probably, unless if uh, FC find about volunteer to say we are going to pay. Because you have found out that it was not their fault. It was the letter you wrote to them. They obeyed that directive. And so the, the, it is the meaning, which is what it, the, uh, uh, the message conveyed that they obeyed. So why not asking them to pay $2 million to uh, uh, MFM? Of course, MFM, somebody was responsible for MFM spending that much money traveling without playing. And then, and then the match officials that also went there. Uh, there is the other case of... Um, the match officials not arriving, not being appointed early, not being appointed early. I mean, I did this things just no way. Well, if we, we don't want, we, we want the we want the Nigerian league uh, uh, to keep on having what it is happening. So we'll let us see if all the uh, these things can still be there. So we're, uh, we're just talking about uh, Djokovic, and also he just did that, and uh, uh, he's worth this 19. But then he himself, um, uh, Nadal and Osaka, have said. They are not going there. Uh, I will want, we want to close. We also like to let you know that uh, in the French uh, uh, GP, that it will be uh, a Verstappen on pole with Hamilton and uh, uh, Bottas coming through. I'm Ken Ochonogo. He's a rainy Sunday, but have a blessed Sunday.